Yo, 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 peep this podcast episode 7. My name is Belinda Kafuilo. I'm Chanda Sampa, but you can call me Shizo. Yeah, man, and we're back. Uh, Mr. Shizo, how have you been? I've been alright, my friend, and yourself? I've been good, man. Just uh, a bit stressed and tired, you know what I mean? Stressed and tired, what's stressing you? Ah, bro, work, business, school, just juggling the three. It, it's insane. It's <laughs> and, insane. And don't forget a podcast on top of, of that. Of course, bro, of course. But this, this doesn't stress me. I like doing this. So, yeah. <laughs> as with the rest, bro, nah, nah. How, how would you say the, the response was after a year and six months away? Um, uh, it was a bit lukewarm, yeah. uh, but understandably because uh, the, the landscape has changed, you know. The uh, new podcasts, the new, there's new everything. Yeah. So it's like we're basically fighting for people's attention in, mm. in that sense. Mm. But um, I feel like the more we record, the more we put out content. Yes. Yeah, we'll, we'll regain, you know what I mean? Yeah. Momentum. Momentum, yeah. Uh, that's good to hear, my and friend. And then yourself, on, on your end, how would you say the response has been? Uh, the response has been good. In mm-hmm. my, for me, I'm you know I'm, I'm the humble servant of the people. Yeah. So even if just one person clicks, that's an achievement for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That uh, people would actually listen to us. For me, that's yeah, that's more than enough. Yeah, I think for uh, for for me as well. I think it's just more about putting out the information you know what i mean yeah. i know people are not people might not find it immediately People might find it after five years but yeah. the information will still be valid and that's what's important for yeah me. i think so too and the fact that we enjoy what we do yes yeah a lot has happened this week you know mm. um we don't have the time to touch on everything that's happened okay but uh you know i'll just get to like the most important important things <laughs> Yeah, uh, Mr. Shizo, you've been you've been abroad. Yes, I have. Have you visited a strip club before? Yes, once, and I'm still traumatized. <laughs> <laughs> what do you ask? Well, uh, more people might get get traumatized soon because um, I saw somewhere on social media that uh, the the Lusaka City Council has granted a named businessman uh-huh. a license to open a strip club at Lewanikamo. <laughs> is that uh, official because you know these site your sources yeah 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 um that's why i said social media because i haven't yet seen it from an official source the yeah. the most official that i've seen was um an mp mm-hmm. uh of who belongs to the opposition arguing in parliament and saying that uh, you can't give uh you can't give um Members license? of the public, a license to open a strip club because it's a Christian nation and, and, and that. It seems we're only Christian selective. Exactly. Yeah. And that's why I have a problem with it, to be honest. It's because we, on certain things, we choose to be Christian. Certain things, we're like, ah, no, it's okay. It's okay, yeah. yeah. I, I literally had a heated, heated argument with my girlfriend. Like a 30-minute argument <laughs> about the same thing. You know what I mean? <laughs> what, what was the argument based on? Um, for her, she was say, cause I was telling her that, ah, to be honest, me personally, I don't see anything wrong with opening a strip club. Yeah. Yeah. And she was like, no, how could you think that? They're promoting immorality. I'm, I'm not saying she didn't have a point. Baby yeah. girl, if you're listening to this, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's like, it's, it's selective. You know what I mean? She brought up PF and I was like, some of these PF members were accused of stealing money from the poorest of people. Yeah. You don't think that's unchristian. You know what I mean? Immoral. Yeah. You don't think that's immoral. But you, you know, strip club, what? They're going to promote prostitution. Prostitution is already promoted. It's there. It's there. <laughs> so for me, I think the, most, the best thing that you can do with certain things, uh-huh. I think is just legalize and control them. I think so. I yeah. think so too. But yeah. I'm, not, I'm not down with the idea of having a strip club. As I mentioned, mm-hmm. I was traumatized. <laughs> <laughs> okay, short story time. <laughs> Um, so it was obviously me and my boys. Mm-hmm. Some are married. I can't mention their names. So I'll try and say it was just me and a couple of friends. Yeah. And uh, one of my friends had that girlfriend who was always going wherever he went. Ah, okay, uh, okay, okay, okay. So, yeah. so we said, ah, What are we doing tonight? Oh, we're going to a strip club. Mm. Like, oh, sh- strip club. So then obviously the girl's like, I'm tagging along. Yeah. So we tried to put him on the side, like, yeah. yo. You can't, you can't you, take your girlfriend. Are you sure mm. about this? Like, I know her, she's cool. Yeah. She's not like other girls. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know, obviously being a Zambian, uh, 
maybe let's say the strip club opens like at 9 p.m. Yeah. Uh, niggas were there like 8 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> Some guys were early, bro. Some guys were early, like, I have to see this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so then, <clears throat> I think it was, the cover charge must have been like 20 bucks. Yeah. Like $20, and you have to buy a drink. Ah, okay. So that was the condition. Yeah. Like, all right, all right. So, so, ah, we even coughed 20. Obviously, being a zombie, like, ah, uh-uh, I want to see this front yeah. row. You yeah. to front row, right? <laughs> right next to the stage. Yeah. <laughs> ah, chili, chili, ah. <laughs> Gradually, mm. uh, the place began to fill up. Uh, people were coming in. People were coming in. Yeah. Ah, the show began. Mm. The show began. The show began. Then I, I sort of understood deeper. Yeah. When when they're talking about falling in love with strippers, yeah, not yeah, that yeah. I fell in love. Yeah. But for me, I was sort of like, I didn't say, but I felt it. I was sort of like. Are you sure about this? Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I want to try it. You know, is you're... anyone forcing you? <laughs> you're on your drink. Yeah, because it was, it was, ish. I just remember, ish, I don't know how I can describe this without being X-rated. Yeah. But uh, um, let's see how I can put it. Let's say um, some of the most intimate parts mm-hmm. of the lady's body, the one was mm-hmm. strippy. Mm-hmm. They were sliding on the eesh. pole, and uh, eesh, it was just crazy. That even after the next dancer came out, yeah, they went came with like some type of cloth to so like wipe. Yeah, oh, God. Know, okay, that's, that, that, yeah, that's crazy. So I, I, I just like ah, this wasn't for me. It was too vivid for yeah. me. I like a little bit of subtlety. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, um, um, I think yeah. maybe maybe I'm speaking because I've never been to a strip club. You know what I mean? Uh, it's not that I'm excited to go to a strip club. I might probably never even visit that strip club. Yeah. But for me, I think I'm looking at it uh, economically. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I feel like... Okay. I've, say, I've said this about prostitution before, right? Uh-huh. I think the best thing you can do for prostitution is to legalize it and tax it. You think so? Yes, that's what, that's what I think. Because number one... Um, I think part of the thrill of certain things is the fact that they're illegal. Mm. And once you remove that, that status of being illegal, uh-huh. you'll find that the number of people participating in those acts even reduces. There's been case studies in Portugal and Netherlands mm-hmm. about certain drugs. Yes. Yeah, it will go up. Maybe the, when it's legalized, it will go up for certain years. But then after certain years, it starts going down. And yeah. you find less people partaking... That that's 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 my point of view. <laughs> I I, yeah, I don't I know how other people and how other people feel, feel feel about it, but I'm like ah, this. The, the 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 Christian nation tag to me, I think, has done more harm than good. Yeah, I yeah. think so as well because yeah. it just gives us this false identity. Yeah, we are not who we say we are. Exactly, like we we we're, we're in Zambia. We know what goes on in this country. Let's just be honest with ourselves. Right? Yeah, even the person who declared it a Christian nation, yes, he did done Christian things. Extremely. Granted, no one is perfect, mm. but I'm just bringing that to your attention. Yeah, and, uh, look at the actions. Yeah. <clears throat> Um, yeah, anyway, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping to uh, see this from like actual sources yeah. so that I can like follow the story. Uh, if, if anything comes up, we'll give updates on the next episode. Yeah, but yeah, that's 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 basically about the, the strip club. The strip club, I yeah. hope it doesn't come to fruition. I don't think it can. I, I just feel like okay, at this time, it, it, it can't. It can't, uh, nah, I don't think it can. Maybe later on in the future, yeah, yeah. I saw something on social media that caught my eye and I was actually very impressed. What might that be? Um, this was a post by Edna, the People's Bay. Shout out to Edna. She hosts um, uh, ZMB Talks. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so she wrote, My bays, meet our billboard producer, Kapembwa Yamba, a.k.a. Dopey Beats. He's worked with international artists like Future and Lil Kid. He produced num- track number 11 on Nasty's new album and mixed a number of songs on the album. He also worked with the late AKA on his previous album. He produced Dangerous featuring Blackie and Nadia Nakai. He never complains because he's moving right. Let's learn from such humans. Hmm. Impressive. Yeah, big, big, Impressive. big shout out to Dopey Beats, man. I, I personally never heard of him before this post. Me too. Yeah, and I think I like, I like the fact that he's you know what I mean? That's low, key. low key. Yeah. I think many Zambians 
have that low key element. Yeah, Even yeah. Even May and Major. Yeah, yeah. He's also worked with a lot of international artists. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, kudos to him. Um, the song I think number eleven, if my counting is correct. Uh huh. That's uh, no more. No more. Yeah. That's uh on whose album? On which album? Nasty's album. Nasty's album. Yeah. The ah, Tender okay. I saw with Blackie and uh and Nadia Nakai. Yeah, that one. I uh-huh. um I listened to the album. Yeah. It it's sort of the concept is sort of like um that song, horrible song, in my humble opinion. <laughs> the Mick Mill, Nicki Minaj and Chris Brown. Uh, oh, that, yeah, yeah, I yeah, hated yeah, that song. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah, so the concept is similar. <laughs> yeah, yeah okay, so Nadia okay. was like Nikki, uh, aka was Mick, and yeah. Blackie was uh, was Chris Brown. Uh, yeah, they took the same concept. Yeah, is, yeah. is there a video for the song? No, 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 no video, no, no video. Yeah. No. So yeah, 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 yeah. Then the no more song. Mm-hmm. We listened to the album together on Nasty C's album. Yeah, I remember the same day we listened to Casper's album. Yeah, it was it was the song where he was complaining. No, 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 no more. Is it that one? Yeah, yeah. 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 Ah, okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. So, so uh, what did you what did you think of Nasty's album? Uh, shout out to what's his name? Dopey Beats. Dopey Beats. Yeah. Hopefully we get to see more and hear from him more. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully an interview. Exactly. Hopefully maybe he can give some game on how he then go to work with such artists. Exactly. The, the, these are the people that we want to hear from because these are people who are doing big things internationally. Yes. And um, they they are not known and their stories might not be known. So they might give us little tips and hints that would help other artists. You know what I mean? And other producers in future. Before you tell me what you thought of Nasty C's album, yeah, do you think that Zambians go further when they detach themselves from being Zambia? So if we look mm, at Dopey Beats, mm. in Zambia, I'm sure there are people who know him, but yeah. the majority of us don't know him. Yeah. May and Major, yeah. a lot of people don't know him. Yeah. There's, um, um, you know, Indigo Stella from SA, she's a rapper. I haven't heard she's of her. She's part Zambian. Okay. Uh, there's Wichi, I know you know Wichi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, producer, yeah. Yeah. he's also Zambian. Damn. So do you think that when people detach themselves from, I'm a Zambian, Zambian flag, then um, they succeed more? I don't, I, I don't think that's the case necessarily. I feel like when they detach themselves from the Zambian music industry, they succeed. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's not the fact that they are Zambian. It's, I, I don't know what the Zambian music industry does to people's mindsets because when you reach a certain level in Zambia, you become comfortable. Mm. And so you stop pushing boundaries and you stop making moves, you stop interacting with certain people and then that halts your, your progression. So I feel like it's that... It's that uh, I'm part of Zambian industry. I'm on radio. I'm on that. That's what makes people comfortable. That's why they stop moving. You think so? Yeah, that's what I think. I, th- I don't think it's them detaching themselves from being Zambian per se. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. What, what do you I think? I get your point. Um, yeah, I think you just have to, or what these people have mentioned have in common is they just kept their head down and focused on the work. Exactly. Where they're from doesn't matter. Yeah. Oh, this flag and that flag. Exactly. Can you deliver? Yeah, Can you yeah. do the work? Exactly. That's, that's, that's what, what I think matters. it's about. Yeah. That's what matters at the end of the day. So, and I think the Zambia music industry is somewhat biased and it's a monopoly. Yes. Because whenever you look at ads, uh, brand endorsement deals, yeah. it's just the same people being same recycled. People, yeah. Yeah. Like shows on TV. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah. It's like a wild monopoly type group yeah. of only certain people. Yeah. But... Uh, what what that does, I think, that's also started happening in Zambia, is that it leaves artists, it makes them creative, in that you know that you, they're gatekeepers here, right, and you can't use this route. Yeah. And so what I've seen artists do now is they're using TikTok and other social media platforms to get their stuff out. I've seen a lot of artists who are, like, booming, they've got bigger followings on TikTok than these, these, these established. established artists, like Frankie Piri, um... Uh, there's a guy called Steven Ace. Yeah. These people are just using social media to their advantage. And TikTok, with TikTok and them, it's not like your following is only be going to be from Zambia. Nah, you have followings from different parts of the world. And then I feel like that that helps them. And in future, in the near future, in three, five years, these people are going to be big acts. Now 
asked this is album what did you think uh I've, I've only listened to it once and i haven't gone back to it uh i think the production was amazing mm-hmm. uh the beat selection was incredible but nasty throughout the album didn't impress me there's there's maybe like two songs that i like but apart from that there's nothing that's going to get me to go back i feel like of the albums that he's dropped this is my least favorite one Mm. Yeah, I don't I, I, I don't know Maybe he needs to explain when I need to watch an interview But I don't see the direction I don't see what he was trying to achieve with the album Yeah So Yeah, I, I, didn't, I, didn't, yeah I didn't like it <laughs> <laughs> I love Nasty See, everybody knows I'm a huge Nasty C yeah, fan you are, you Yeah, are. from bad hair You know what I mean I've been rocking with all But I, I just I wasn't impressed Yeah Yeah Now my take is similar mm-hmm. Um you know i love introspective music mm-hmm. so this album was introspective yeah uh with a little bit of dark yeah dark, it's, it's also dark mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. complain about the label yeah about life yeah and just basically showing the other side to him that fame is not all uh all, all rosy yeah there are problems the yep. things that he's facing so i don't know I don't know. The album was okay. The instrument, I just didn't hear enough rapping. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, like okay. he did some. He, he tried to get into other bags. Like he got into his Afro pop bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. The Burner Boy bag. <sighs> then, the, <laughs> then the other song girl by. There's like. Anyway, I don't want to go in too hard on him, but there are just certain songs where. He was shouting the same thing for like eight bars straight. Yeah. With no rapping. Yeah. Yeah. So I was just like, you could have done better with this beat. But, yeah, um, yeah. Perhaps yeah. it's a new direction that he's taking. Yeah. We wish him all the best. Wish him all the best. I yeah. just, I just really miss the nasty see that would rap his ass off, man. Like the bars, un- undeniable, undeniable bars, you know what I mean? But I, mean, I guess maybe that's not putting food on the table. Yeah, and yeah. you know, the industry, once you, you sign your name on that dotted line, Ish. things change. Ish. It's not just about you loving the art and making music. No, you have to sell records. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I guess that has something to do with the outcome of the album yeah. and how long it took for it to drop. Yeah. The rollout, him beating fans. Why, why do... <laughs> him Zambia, beating fans. Why... Why do Zambia and fans always get beaten? Chquela. 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 Bro, we are landlocked, bro. So bear with us. It's because Burner Boy. Mm. <laughs> you know, that stamping issue. I'm not to see punch the fan, bro. Because we're complacent as Zambians. Because they wouldn't do that to a Nigerian. No, they wouldn't. Yeah, because yeah. Zambians won't do anything. Yeah, we're, right. we're, we're friendly. Yeah, 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 we're so yeah, friendly. Yeah. Never had war peace. Ah, yeah. like we've been so dead at games, yeah. We've been dead at But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Doja Cat. Doja Cat. Doja Cat dropped an album. Yeah. And um, the song Paint the Town Red is the first hip hop song. To go number one on the billboard i think this year yeah 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 yeah, yeah, I yeah. Think so yeah. yeah i think so yeah surprising it hasn't happened in hip-hop for a very long time because there's been no number one hip-hop song in the entire year yeah yeah i think the last one was was nikki with super freaky girl if for i'm real? not mistaken damn like last year yeah so uh, i haven't personally listened to the album but i've, I've heard the song paint the town red yeah and uh, yeah big shout out to doja cat it's a good song yeah she's a good artist mm-hmm she makes dope music mm-hmm. but with this album i think there's just the antics got me because yeah. there are certain things that i heard that got my antennas up mm-hmm. for those of you who watch masterclass you know why so like the name scarlet it has something to do with alistair crawley for real yeah like his religion thelema yeah he said that uh, he actually went to the pyramids in egypt <clears throat> and then apparently he was channeling some message from a demon yeah or whatever a goddess named scarlet that's how he came back and wrote the book and invented the <coughs> the religion of thelema yeah then there's also the angle of uh you know the 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 album is dark yeah, she had yeah. the eyes wide shut theme party so yeah. I, she has a song called scow and bones on the album Ish. so sonically the album sounds good mm-hmm. the melodies are good mm-hmm. the raps are good yeah. for me it's just the content she's not talking about anything yeah yeah 
So even if you go through the track list, mm -hmm. there's some songs that are immediately going to stand out to you. Yeah. Yeah. Like there's one called Wet Vagina. Whoa. That's <laughs> <laughs> So obviously, when you hear such a title, obviously I'm not expecting much. Yeah. Yeah, she's rapping, but she's not saying anything. Yeah. It's just, I call it uh, mind rotting music. Mind rotting music. Yeah, this is what happens when a talented artist mm -hmm. gets signed to a label and they are perhaps coerced yeah. or encouraged to make a certain kind of music. Yeah. So I think the music on this album is destructive but it sounds good if mm. that makes sense sonically it sounds good the yeah. raps the melody the, the message the yeah. content a lot of nikki inspiration yeah but um yeah if you want some mind rotten music <laughs> to <laughs> vibe to this is a good album scarlet and oh it sold 55k 55k first week yeah don't look at yeah Eesh. is that a flop for high yes i think for high is a flop bro <laughs> Oh, all the oh, antics. Yeah, yeah, all the antics, all of bro, like but oh, oh, number one. Yeah, but but for her level, bro, like all these big artists, the uh, Drakes, Taylor Swifts, I can throw Doja Cat in that She's mainstream. Yeah, she's mainstream. And for a mainstream artist who's been doing such antics to sell fifty five K in a week, first week, mm -hmm. it's worrying, bro. It's worrying for, for hip-hop and for the music industry in general. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the sales are dwindling. Let me, let me look for it. But there was um, a DJ Maporisa tweet mm -hmm. yeah, that uh, came out and I want us to, to discuss it. Yes. Uh, Maporisa said, advice to artists. We're not in an album era anymore. Singles make sense. I agree with him. You agree with him? Yeah, I agree okay. with him. Give, because, give, give us your take. Um, when you look at the artists that are popping right now, mm -hmm. or who've been popping in the last five years, their yeah. shelf life has been reduced drastically. Yeah. Yes. So when you look at an artist like Cardi B, who's one of the biggest artists in the world right now, mm -hmm. according to her, they spent two million just on the video for Bongo. Mm -hmm. Just on the video. Just the That's video. somebody's signing fee. Eesh. So... Cardi B, I think <coughs> she she's 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 a single artist, or she's yeah. like the she she was the experiment yeah. for the single artist. Ah. Yeah, that's why her album hasn't dropped. Her second album yeah. hasn't dropped because yeah. they've seen that this album you spend a lot of money on all these producers on all these features, mm -hmm. whereas you can just spend two million on a video, uh, get a world feature, yeah, and then uh, put some. Put the rest of the money in marketing mm. yeah then that will, will generate more income for the label as opposed to albums that are obviously selling low yeah then if we also factor in that um <coughs> a lot of uh, artists are selling their masters or their mm. publishing mm -hmm. yeah that also shows that albums are getting outdated yeah not to say that there are no music fans like myself who enjoy listening to full-length projects yeah but it shows that perhaps the way the music industry is approaching ways of making money is different. Mm -hmm. And another thing we also have to factor in why singles are selling more, it's become like popcorn now. Yeah. In that, you're not meant to sit down with an album for a long time. When a person drops an album today, people are already asking for the next tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah this yeah, is yeah. why you see a lot of artists or some artists like the Burner Boys yeah. oversaturating with music mm. because people are always looking for the next thing. What's the next feature? Yeah. What's the yeah. next this? What's the next that? Yeah. So I think this has put musicians in a predicament where they realize that I can just work on a single mm -hmm. make it a banger and yeah. then we can milk it and use that as a stepping stone for the next single yeah and the just, next one maybe like an ep here and yeah. there but uh yeah that's my take i don't know about you um i i agree with it um i think we're, we're in a in, in a short form era mm -hmm. yeah and as you said from the business side of things i think dropping an album is making less and less sense as we go by for both the label and for the artist as well. Because you, you put in so much time, so much effort, so much money, so much this, so much that. And then when you drop it, it's like the reception is like, meh. Not because the album isn't good or you know what I mean? Or maybe it doesn't sound well sonically. But it's just that people have got short attention spans now. And like immediately they're done with your album. 
maybe they won't even replay. They just go on looking for the next thing, and as you the say. The market is oversaturated. The market is oversaturated. Well, not just it's not just musicians competing. With musicians, you're competing with uh, series, Netflix, movies, YouTube, any the whole stream. Yeah, any any anything that's content, you're competing. With anything, you know what I mean? So, um, for the times, for the current times, I think it would make more sense for artists to focus on singles. Uh, yeah. Us music fans, we'll listen to your album, we'll buy your album, you know what I mean? But how many of us are there? Yeah. You know what I mean? Speaking from a business sense, how many real, real music fans are going to sit down with your album, you know what I mean? Talk about it, critique it, just listen to it more than once. Yes. Yeah. I think it's, uh, Maporisa is right, and he, he's, he's like an industry insider. Yeah. So, he's a very seasoned producer. Yes. Who's been in the game for a lot of years. Yeah. He has experience, worked with almost everyone. Exactly. Drake, you mentioned it. Yeah. So, so if, he's... if you're going to drop an album, I think it should just be out of passion. Mm-hmm. Just because you want to, you know, put something out for your own discography. But it doesn't make business sense. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, like for instance, one such album is an album called Victor by Vic Mensa. Okay. It's an introspective album. And you can tell that he wasn't really trying to fit in with the time. Yeah. He just went with what he felt was natural to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah even yeah, with yeah. the features he had, Common, J Electronica. Yeah. Though he also had one for the streamers, he had one with G Easy and, and Chance the Rapper. Okay. But for the most part, when you listen to the album, you're like, okay, this is, it, it's bringing that nostalgic feeling. Even yeah. though he's quite young. Yeah. Yeah, but musically, it's taking you back to where, like, an album was a, a full full length mm, mm, yeah body mm. of work cohesive yeah so yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah man i um the music industry is changing and we're just here to observe and bring the news to you as to how things might change how this might affect artists yeah um, even if you look at uh, like um if you bring back to zambia mm-hmm. does natasha chance have an album or is it just an EP? I think, she has a, I think she has an EP. Yeah, you see? Yeah, she has an EP. Yeah, so they're not rushing to drop an album. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah the singles yeah. are doing well. When she comes with the single, it's a banger. Yeah. Milk it for a while. Yeah. So, yeah, I like that. Yeah, I think uh, Natasha Chansov, to me, has got, like, the best management in Zambia. I think so. so shout out to Walia. Yeah, I think that she's one of my favorite CEOs. Yeah. Yeah. And I've, 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 I've got, I've got, uh, I've been noticing something. What? But I've just been waiting for them to say it officially. And I, 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 I hope that I'm right with uh-huh. what I'm saying. I, I feel like um, Aqualaskin is under Walia's management now. Oh, oh yeah. what makes you think uh, that? So I, I, I observe. Uh, how she utilizes her social social media. Yeah. Yeah. I have noticed that while is not just going to post any Jim and Jack on, on her page, you know what I mean, on, on her social media pages. Yeah. She only posts people that she is working with or has worked with. Okay. And True. recently, uh-huh. Aqua has been getting posted. And I've seen them, like, you know, posting maybe like... A studio sessions. St- studio sessions, also like food market mm-hmm. and other, you know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like she's involved in Aqualaskin's career, but I want her to say it herself as, as to how much, how involved she is. is but it, I feel like they have a management deal. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, it, it could be, because her label also doubles as a streaming platform. Where yeah. Where it houses content. Or yeah, well, that, I, think, I think that was taken down. By I think they took it down themselves because I I used to rap so I had my music on the Z Arts, Arts platform yeah, oh, yeah okay but when I went to search for Z Arts dot something something you couldn't the, find yeah it. it was showing me that the I, I can't what do you call it domain yeah the domain is uh, it's, it's it's not it's not being used I guess that that just gives her more time and resources to focus on specific projects. Yeah, yeah, and I, I think she's got something. She's got she's she's got something big coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm also a fan of Natasha Chance and her sound. I, mm-hmm. I I feel she's one of the the Zambian artists that we can propel to an international level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think for her, she would utilize it very well, and she would actually carry people with her. Yeah, and she yeah. she's also like uh, well spoken. Yeah, down to earth, and her, her brand is also appealing to the youth. Yes, he he is what artists neglect a lot that Natasha Chansa has, and that you need these days, personality. Personality. Yeah, it it's it's not just about the music. Uh-huh. Yeah, you need to have a certain type of personality. You need to be to be social. 
Like there's a reason why outside the music people like Y Celeb. Yeah. It is personality. It's personality. Yeah. There's a reason why outside the music people like Natasha Chance. I you know what I mean. It's, it's it's her personality and how she comes out. I think these days, uh, for you to be propelled to a certain level, mm-hmm. you have to work on your personality. You have to work on uh, how you say things to people and what you say to people. And when you're sitting down giving an interview, is it interesting? Mm. What are people knowing about you, learning about you? Ice Spice is boring. She's but boring. Her, her brand is... She doesn't have a personality from the interviews. I saw. Yeah. She's like one word answer. But I guess every brand works different. It works different, yeah. yeah. Well, we, with her, I mean, uh, there's, there's light skin and big booty privilege. So I guess when you have that, you don't need, you don't need the you personality. Don't need <laughs> yeah, another single driven artist. Yeah, I Spice, huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. She, I think her she just dropped like an EP. Yeah. And that's about it. She's just been dropping singles after singles after singles. Coming to think of it, a lot of new female rappers mm. are following that trend. And it's working for that. That's yeah. why female rappers are dominating now. Yeah. Yeah, it's but working for them. the content. <laughs> <laughs> that's, hey, it's sexy red. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. I, mean, I think... I think she might be an industry plant. Sexy red. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. I Ish. think so, man. Because there's, there's no way. Yeah. There's no way. Ah, the, the rise has been... It's, it's been too... You know what I mean? I get it. People might like her. Mm-hmm. But there are just certain things. Like the Drake call sign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then yeah, even, yeah. even the, the video we just watched. Yeah, the one you showed you me. Might, yeah. Could you care explain it? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so basically, uh, sexy red. Uh, She's leveraging her fame, yes, and her personality, yes, to sell products. To sell products. What? It's 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 lip gloss. Was it lip gloss? Lip balm? Uh, lip. Let's okay, something. Cosmetics. Yeah, it's cosmetics, and uh, the names of these cosmetics are a bit curious. <laughs> There's one called nut. <laughs> There's one called yellow discharge. Yeah. There's one called Body Hole Brown, Gonorrhea, Gonorrhea, uh, uh, Pussy Pussy Pink, something yeah, like that. Pussy Pink, and uh, they dropped her. Uh? Yeah, and they, they sold out. They sold out according to her. According to her, they sold out. But like, guys, why? <laughs> but th- that's another thing. For all we know, these labels could be buying their own and ah, making it look like yeah, oh, it's yeah, selling. Yeah. Then people be like, oh, let me also buy and get on this trip. Yeah, yeah because, because how, how are we going to verify? Yeah, because yeah. ratchetry is part of it. It's a brand now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You do ratchet things, you get a show on Zambezi magic. <laughs> <laughs> now, allow me to explain. <laughs> allow me to explain. Okay, okay, because ahead. I'm not just talking from without. I actually watched the show. So there was that show for Bombshell. Oh yeah, Mercy yeah, Mukwiza, yeah, Zara, Zara, and Ivanka, Ivanka Bianca. Bianca. Yeah. I watched it. <laughs> so if you if you didn't watch it, that's on you. But yeah, I watched, that's what I saw. It was just ratchet <laughs> dream. That's you get rewarded for that. Yeah, like fighting, pulling of weaves. Yeah, the whole season was basically it was basically beef between uh Mercy Mukwiza yeah. and Ivanka. Yeah, that was the whole season. Ish. Yes, they were throwing. Other elements here and there, motherhood. Yeah. But that was the premise of the show, yeah. and I'm not trying to downplay it. I'm just showing you how dysfunction is now being monetized. monetized. Yeah. yeah. This is the part where we are supposed to get to uh, take the L and keep it moving. Uh-huh. Um, I don't know if uh, if you have any stories that are prepared. Yes, I, I have a lot of L's. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm just I'm just going through my locker to see which one is. Last week I might have gone to <laughs> <laughs> okay. two right, rather, rather that's the thing. Yeah, rather, rather than rather telling us an L, L, rather than telling us an L, yeah. how you tell us how that L affected you in real life? Like, how, did anyone listen to it? That was uh... um ah, but you see that's that's the problem. These women of nowadays. Mm. They are sneaky, and <laughs> and a nigga like me who's not very hip to like social media, yeah, and um, these things who viewed the story and that yeah. puts me on. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I'm sure they heard it, but how it affected my life is yeah. that um, 
some other the third party mm-hmm. i think the third party heard it oh and wow. he's now like giving me a cold shoulder on for some, it like yeah like on some oh yeah man you know oh yeah. okay no, I've, I've, I've been there <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. And, and l actually a, a past l yeah. got me in prison trouble yeah exactly yeah, yeah, so yeah. but besides that hey whoever is with me is with me those yeah. who aren't aren't yeah but yeah um do i have any I know we, we can we can um we can save it for next week just just promise them that you're going to give them two stories next time <laughs> <laughs> okay that means you you two yeah, yeah just or, or maybe you same. have one uh no not not current not one that i can think of as i told you last time the other one is a bit x-rated yeah super x-rated so uh i, I think i have to like go through okay my so we owe you we owe you next episode two two l's yeah each. yeah two l's each yeah yeah so any any closing remarks mr sampa uh, closing remarks mm-hmm. uh, i just wanted to say thank you yeah. to everybody who's listening to this right now salutations yeah. wherever you're listening from thank you for listening to this podcast i know yeah. there are many podcasts out there but you chose to listen to this one yeah. even if it's just for a few minutes uh, we appreciate uh, your attention span mm-hmm. um thank you thank you that's yeah. it yeah, no, we, we really appreciate everything. Um, as we said, we're on a mission to keep bringing episodes and be consistent. So for those of us who've been rocking us from the beginning, thank you very much for sharing and listening and putting your friends on. And um, I just hope that uh, the audience grows so that we can actually make a bigger impact because we're doing this for, you know what I mean, for the Zambian entertainment industry. Just want to drop some knowledge, drop some gems, and hopefully someone might listen and pick a few things up and they'll be propelled. So thank you for listening and sharing, and we, we definitely will bring more. Yeah. Uh, with that said, I'm Chanda Sampa, but you can call me Shizo. And I'm Lenga Kafilo. Peace.